Good morning, everyone. It is a new week and it is time for a new pattern. I'm going to scroll down to the weekly string and see if there is a new string for this week, which would be all the way down here. Oh, looks like she's done some updating. <clears throat> Just so you would know, uh, there are some albums at the, uh, looks like at the Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Here. Yeah, at the Facebook page. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's, there's the an album for um, each string. And then under that, you can put, if you used this string, you can put um, a picture in the album. So just so you would know something something new sorry I just I just noticed that that wasn't there last time I went through here so she's starting to work on links to the albums um, for the various strings uh, it also looks like haha -ha, it also looks like she's reorganized the string um, page and so instead of scrolling all the way down to the bottom to find the newest string the newest one is up at the top that's very handy thank you Nicole and Ina for that let's see what else they've changed and then there's also uh, some other links to different things this is the go to pattern library um, there was a, a a period of several weeks where we um, <clears throat> did these go-to patterns. It looks like we did them for 21 weeks, uh, where there was a different string every single day for 21 weeks, and there is a different album for each one of those. So um, check them out. There is a ton, ton of stuff on this website. You could wander through here for a very long time and not see everything so just wanted to let you know about that and so we're going to just see what string 71 is okay string 71 is a nice simple string that's good i may actually use that this week so i'm going to um get myself a piece of paper here and you can't probably see that very well because of the the lighting but i'm going to grab myself a pen give myself a little border here and I'm just gonna draw this string just so I would have a reference if I want to use it which would be something like that and let me just write on here this is string number 71 and I'll keep this uh, next to me and um, if I decide I need to have a string for any reason this week, that's the one I'm going to use. Okay, so then back home, click the home page. I'm going to go down here to pattern focus. That will give me the patterns for this week. Looks like they all start with the letter L this week. Um, this one is La Di Da. By Ellen Walters um, she has a video right here to show you how she draws it and a key point I watched her video a key point in the video is that um, we want to make this little we can do this all in one stroke but we want to try to make this a right angle so she pointed that out very clearly and I found it interesting on her video, she actually did, on the step out, she shows these. You, you make this sort of loop, like a like a cursive L, back and forth, back and forth, da di da di da di da right? And then you go back through and you do it again with a, a different size. Now, on her video, she actually drew this bigger one first and then did the smaller one. I don't think it makes any difference then which one you draw first. You just have to have a smaller one and a bigger one. But what she wants us to do is this 
angle right here. She wants us to have as close to a 90 degree angle as as we can. They're, they're not going to be perfect because, you know, we're not perfect people. But um, I think she's meaning that when you do your loop, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do... I'm going to get a piece of scrap paper. Hang on a second. Oh, reaching. Ah, okay. That when we do our loops, I'm just going to use a pencil here. Instead of doing a loop like that. Can you even see that? There. Instead of doing a loop like that, we want our loop to go like that. Like that. So it has more of a 90 degree angle here. Boy, that's hard for the camera to see. I'm sorry. Because we don't want this. We, we want it wider. And I think that will be a good tip for us. So absolutely, if you see um, somebody else already has a video, always uh, useful to um wow i really zoomed in on that always useful to go ahead and scroll down and see if there's another pattern in there so anyway here we go this is the la di da the first we do la di da di da di da one long continuous motion and then in between them la di da di da di da Another long continuous motion until we end up with that. That's where we're aiming. And then in her tile, look how she's embellished it. She's gone and done some auras or echoes around with some extra bits, some ripped screen there in the middle, some dots, some just embellished the heck out of it. I, I That's really pretty. I like it. So I'm going to probably use a similar diagonal thing for mine and um let's get started let's turn on a light so that we can see better ready ready close your eyes ah. oh i am so looking forward to getting <clears throat> a studio with some permanent more permanent setup with some better lighting oh yeah I'm looking forward to that. Okay, so I may use the string uh, 71 because it kind of goes with this shape really well. So I'm going to go ahead and um, put my border with my pencil. You guys can't see the whole thing. I've gotten too close. And then I'm going to put in this string just sort of really really light because I may not use all of it that's string 71 and then trying to figure out that's where I want them to cross right yeah okay all right so grab my pan and just start so I think I'm going to do, I don't know, do I want to use do the big ones first or the little ones first? I think I'm going to do the little ones first. Like that. I got better as I went. It's one of those ones you kind of have to practice to get in the rhythm, right? But that's okay. Now I'm going to put a bigger one in between. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to go like this. And I'm going to make them really big. I'm really exaggerating that shape. Just because I want to fill my space really well. Like that. Mine seems to get from bigger to a little bit smaller as it goes. 
That's okay. How pretty is that, though? I really like it. And then I am going to go ahead and embellish similarly to the way, uh, let's see, the artwork is actually by Anya Meter. Um, I'm going to do something in a similar fashion by by taking these and doing some echoes, maybe two. out to that string line. One and if they overlap, that's cool. Good with me. I'm happy. Going just right to the edge where my border is. Don't think I'm gonna make a hard border. I'm gonna just do a smudge for a border this time. Okay. Oh, I didn't. Oh no, that's that's right. You guys may end up hearing construction noises today. There's a lot of activity happening at my house. Well, and I want to thank you guys for all the well wishes and prayers for my friend. Um, he's still in the hospital. Yeah, it's been a rough, long haul. But... Uh, good news is he's he he is doing much better this week than he did last week, um, and there's possibility of him going home in the next couple of days. So um, that's really good news. We were hoping he would get home, go home yesterday, but. Yeah, that didn't happen. So we're still just praying for him. And for the lessening of his pain. His pain is still pretty high. <clears throat> I think I want to... I don't know what I want to do here. Just embellishing now and just deciding what what my tile is speaking to me about how to play and decorate this pattern. Pattern is done. Now it's just the fun part. Um I want stripes on here. They remind me of peacock feathers. And 
I'm making them slightly curved. It appears that's what it wants. And they're going different curves, going on different ones. That's okay too. I'll decide if I want to color those in. I may. I think I want some darker contrast here. All right, let's see. Shall we color those in? I think so. Where's my bigger pen? This one. don't have a whole lot to talk about today. So I feel very quiet. But that's okay. Some days are better than others for quiet. Quiet reflection is always a good thing, right? I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see better. And all I'm doing is just uh, coloring in, leaving a little white space right along the middle, which causes it to have like a little reflection. And if you want to fast forward through this part, you're welcome to do so. I choose not to fast forward my videos on purpose because um, I know you guys can always fast forward if you want but I feel like it's really important to know what the real-time uh, drawing looks like um, So that you're not, I was at the beginning when I first uh, was learning um, Zentangle patterns, like everybody out there who had videos on patterns um, did them all in fast forward. And I got really frustrated thinking that I was doing something wrong. Why, why did mine take so long? You know, and... I came to realize that even the ones that looked like they were real time um, were really s sometimes just slightly sped up so that they were 
especially all the ones that have the just music in the background and no talking at all. Um, they looked like they were drawing in real time, but they were maybe sped up by maybe just like a, a quarter of a percent or half a percent. So they weren't sped up really fast. You could still tell what they were doing, but they were just a little bit faster than normal. And those were the ones that frustrated me the most. When, when it was super zoomy, fast forward, I knew that they were in fast forward. You know, they were in uh, twice as fast or three times as fast. I could tell that they were in fast forward. But when they just sped it up just a teeny tiny bit, I couldn't tell they were in fast forward. And it really frustrated me that I was drawing so dang slow. When I knew that the point of this was to be meditative and to take your time and to enjoy. And so, I don't know. I was, I just had troubles. And I have trouble with, with that with other art forms as well. I, I really enjoy watching people with their, um, like their art journals, for example. And... I don't mind a, a long video, you know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. And then if, if it's going too slow for me, I know I can speed it up. I can jump forward or I can hit that little, there's a little um, gear symbol on the YouTube player and you can choose however fast you want me to go. But I found it much more difficult. You can choose to slow it down but then you things are all weird. Um, so I actually prefer to just watch in real time. And maybe that's just me. So that's why I choose not to fast forward. Um, although I must say, I really like the way Melinda is doing hers. Where she does in real time for most of the drawing. But then in this parts where she's just coloring in, she's able to speed it up. I choose not to spend lots of time editing. Because I just don't have time for that. That's also part of my thing. Um, and so I don't have a program that I stick my video in and then can take parts of it and speed it up. Um, I suppose I could get one, but, you know, that would just add more time to the time I already don't have. Um, so you guys get what it is. You get it full of flaws. You get it full of... Um, sounds from outside. I don't edit. You, you, what you see is what you get. And it makes it kind of raw and real. And maybe it's low production value. Absolutely. I have no time for production value. I just do my thing. But like I said, I really do appreciate Melinda will, will quickly zip through the coloring por portion and then slow back down when she has something important to say about the pattern or her experience. And I do appreciate that a lot. And some people, I have had a comment in the past of, why aren't you more like Melinda Barlow? Well... Because I'm not Melinda Barlow. If you want to watch Melinda Barlow, you go watch Melinda Barlow. That's why. And it doesn't bug me anymore. It bugged me the first time I heard it. Um, I've heard it since. Why aren't you more like X, Y, and Z? Well. Because I've been made unique. And a one-of-a-kind creation. And I am not someone else. 
And so that's why I don't think do things the way they do it. I do things the way I do it. And if you are unhappy with the way I do things, don't watch. That's my, my opinion at this point. Okay, one more, and then maybe I'll, I don't know what I'm going to do. I feel like the tile is a little blank on the corners, so I think I'll fill it in somehow. Maybe with some more loop-like shapes coming up and out. Or maybe I'll aura this whole thing. Give it like a its own kind of a border. Let me zoom out so I can get a perspective. See, when I zoom out, I, it's like me holding the tile up way far away. And I can kind of get a perspective of what I might want to do. I think, I think I do. I think I want to just aura this whole thing. Like that. Yeah. That kind of anchors it and grounds it a little. And then maybe... Maybe some dots. And then another aura. Like that. And then one more aura. And then I think I'll be done. Yeah, okay, I like that. And now we just need to uh, need to sign. We need to put the name, La Dida. Decide how I want it to live. It feels like it wants to live. It wants to live that way. Okay, la di da on string number 71, and now I'm going to do a little shading. <coughs> so, excuse me. All right, I'll zoom back in. I think I'm going to make this dark around the outside of the shape. And for sure, I want my border to be just a smudgy border. Like that. And then here. Okay, I'm going to use my big stump today. Run 
turn this around real quick. And do this part. And then I think I just am going to turn it inside if I want any dark. <clears throat> I'm going to put a little dark right here. smaller stump okay Oh, I like that with a dark down the middle there. Um, let's anchor these guys too. Just a little snidge. Not a lot. And then I'm going to come back with the white and do a little highlighting. And I think that will just make this tile thin. I love the shading and the highlighting. It's my favorite part. Okay, so where do I want the highlight? I think I want it. I think I want it here. Maybe up there. I think I want it here. Like that. Yeah. And for my white, uh, my highlight, I am just using. Some people use a charcoal pencil, a white charcoal pencil. Um, I don't have one. I've not tried one. This is just a plain old white Prismacolor Premier uh, color pencil, regular old color pencil. Works just fine. It gives me that pop color contrast on this tone tile oh goodness sakes Okay, I think, I think I'm done. Yep, I think I'm done. She's feeling finished to me. All right, that wasn't too bad. Even with all that coloring. All right, you guys have a really great day. I will see you on the next pattern, which is also something that starts with an L because I did notice that. And, um... Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. You guys have a great day, and I'll be back. Bye-bye.